Believe those who say they are seeking the truth and doubt those who say they have found it. Here is the ultimate truth seeker, George West. One man trying to make sense of a world gone totally cray cray. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. It's the George West Show. Right here on 247miami.tv. Big, big doings here in Florida this week. And we got big stuff coming up. And we're going to tell you all about it. You're in the right place. If you want to know what's going up, what's going down, what's happening, what it is, you are at the epicenter of information for South Florida. Well, not really. But, hey, I can claim it. This is internet radio, and I can say any damn thing I want. First thing I want to tell you about coming up next week, no George West show. No Rink Rash Radio, but fear not, my friends. Uh, we are going to be broadcasting live from the last home bout of your Miami Vice City Rollers as they welcome the Central Derby Demons of Daytona Beach uh, to the Sunnyland Hockey Rink. Uh, tickets are available, and you can get them now, 10 bucks at MiamiRollerDerby.com, or just show up. Just show up, 12 bucks at the door. And if you're a kid under 10 and you're listening to this show, shame on you. <laughs> but hey, you get in for free. You get in for free. Tell mom that it's, it's okay. Uh, and please bring uh, lawn chairs because the uh, bleacher seating is is limited. And with the lawn chairs, you actually get closer to the action. Yes. So there's a chance that you could get a roller skate to the face. Think of it. That's a you know that's a story. You're you're on shakes. I hear oh, you. okay. Yeah, there you are. So joining me on the show today, I've got my normal cast of characters uh, behind the camera. If you're watching the live stream, you've got Mr. Louis Chacon, who is the owner and proprietor of 247miami.tv, uh, tickling the pots and pressing the buttons as always is the lovely and talented. Diana Monroy. Good morning. And uh, she's also the host of Color y Sabor. When can we hear your show? Every Thursday at, what time is it? At 6. Every Thursday at 6. Yes. And you do it's like a top 10 breakdown yes. of what's going on in in, uh, in Latin not, music? Yes, and a throwback Thursday. And a throwback Thursday. I go oldies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, you know, so, you know, you're like playing some serious Elvis Crespo stuff? That's right. Mm. The gringo just dropped an Elvis Crespo. It yeah, happened. well, no. Last I don't know who he is or what he sings or anything, but I've heard the name. This episode, I had Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Well, that's not very Latin. No, but it's a throwback Thursday, and okay. people still hear it. Okay, so you don't have to speak Spanish to enjoy Whitney or speak English to enjoy Whitney Houston's music, right? Any more exactly. than I have to speak Spanish to enjoy, uh, what's the band I like? The one that do Bumboleo, Gypsy Kings. Love exactly. those guys. They're you awesome. See, you're almost Spanish, but you still hear them. That's a great. Those guys are amazing. Yes, they amazing. Are. Just to, to watch. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we were talking roller derby. Oh, and also joining us is Dolphin Boy, Mr. Johnny Mejia. Waza, waza, waza. So Johnny and I had a little come to Jesus moment uh, <laughs> this morning. And basically, I was telling him, you know, Johnny, I think it's time that you step out from under the shadow that is George West. Kind of spread your wings and maybe do your My own thing, way. buddy. I think it's about time. So in the very near future, we should be getting at least a half an hour podcast of like a wrestling report. What's going on in the world of professional wrestling? Well, um, basically, there's three matches at Extreme Rules. John Cena versus Rusev, a rematch, the big part of WrestleMania. Um, John Cena beat Rusev, and so he won the new champion belt or the United States champion belt. And then... Um, um, what is his name? Um, Randy Orton. Be Stern. Uh, it's gonna fight with Stern Rollins at Extreme Rules, and Nikki Bella is gonna fight whoever we'll fight this Monday night and fight her for the title at Extreme Rules. Oh, so they they're big on the like the women's wrestling now. That has yeah, made yeah. a big comeback. Yeah. Back in my day, we had uh, cowgirl Wendy Richter, and there was the the fabulous Mula. Yeah, she does. Well, she's died already. Her family is Luna. Died. Yeah, but she already went to the. Well, Hall thank of Fame. you, thank you for dating me and aging me on my own radio show. <laughs> yeah, Boy, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, my special guest today, of course, is the uh, PR director for Miami's Vice City Rollers, an amazing woman. It is uh, Roma Shakespeare, number sixteen, sixteen. Yay! So you're, she's here to help uh, promote the team. I always bring her on the week before. Uh, the bout. Yes, and it's the last home game of the season, and we are currently undefeated. That's right. So you're looking to sweep the we home season. We are looking to sweep the home season. Okay, let's uh, we'll get we'll get back to that. But first, you know, before we go any farther, let's get into some of the crazy news that's been going on in let's Florida. Hear it. Are you ready? Yes. Because this is a wacky, wacky state that we live in. This first story coming out of Claremont. Uh, police say a man used nunchucks to threaten victims in a road rage incident last week. Uh, the victims told the cops that Hector Claudio was driving erratically and cutting their vehicle off on U.S. 27 near Johns Lake Road uh, last Saturday morning. When the victims pulled up next to Claudio and asked what the issue was, and you can imagine how polite that went down, right? I mean, it reads like, Nunchucks. Come, pardon me, sir, like he's, you're asking for mustard. 
pardon me, sir, but what's with the nunchucks and the, the, the erratic driving and whatnot? It was, it's very British and polite. I'm sure that's exactly how it went down. But uh, apparently, Claudio was not a fan of the BBC. Uh, he got out of the vehicle and began swinging his nunchucks, all Bruce Lee style. Uh, this is what you know. People were telling the police. Uh, also, according to the police, Claudia was tracked down at a nearby wa no way Walmart. Go figure. <laughs> where he was questioned, Claudio, of course, denied any knowledge of the incident. But police say they found nunchucks in his front seat. Uh, he was arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Oh in God. a statement, he said he only used the nunchucks because he feared for his safety. Police said. I love that because that's exactly what police say when they shoot people. I was in fear of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, Claudio was released on two thousand dollars bond. That's insane. That he was actually released. No nunchucks. nunchucks. I think I got. I think I got stuck at nunchucks. I was like, why? Why would someone? Who, yeah, this is you know, it's the new millennium. Nunchucks Nobody uses nunchucks, throwing stars. That you no, know, come on, really. Yeah, so I, you know, again, further proof that this guy's another one of Florida's master criminals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, again, we go back that, you know, he's driving erratically. This, this is Florida. I mean, nobody here knows how to drive. We're drunk half <laughs> yeah. the time on banana daiquiris. The rest of us uh, were driving donkeys in the in these mountains, yep. you know, two days before. You get here, you get your driver's license, keys to a BMW and an American Express what? car. I don't understand that. How do they do that? How do they do what? I yeah, don't know. Do I was born here. I'm I don't not, get it. I, I'm native. Uh, um, they're dry, They don't have a car wherever they are. Yeah. They come over here. They have a BMW, uh, <laughs> the best shoes. What's their secret? <laughs> yeah, what's their secret? What's they have the, the best shoes, and we're here struggling to get the best shoes. Yeah. That is a struggle. The struggle is real. To, to get into the, the six inch and eventually the seven inch heel. <laughs> oh, I want to see you in heels, George. Never going to happen. <laughs> Never going to happen. We'll start you off with some three inch heels. No <laughs> dice. Uh, I will share. I mean, I did the drag thing once. I mean, I was. Uh, once. Oh, yeah. This is great because I'm out of the Navy now, so I can uh, completely own this. Uh, so I get, you know, if you don't know, the reason I didn't pull 20 in the Navy was I got injured. I fell off a mountain and blew out my right knee, right? So the, uh, Mr. Clinton asked me nicely to, uh, you know, Go be a civilian. So, okay, great. So I had a month where I was laid up uh, in a cast. I mean, full mm. leg cast from ankle to thigh. Ooh. Yeah. You know, not, not a lot of moving around going on there. Uh, and I was medicated. And this, you remember, I was in the Navy, so I got the good stuff. Mm -hmm. you, know, they, you know, they weren't worried about price and all that and everything. So I, I got the good stuff. Now, I didn't want to lay up at, at the barracks. So I happened to be in Great Lakes, Illinois, and I have an Aunt Mary who I love dearly who – out of the kindness of her heart, took me into her house, made a place for me on her couch for a month and Aww. literally waited on me hand and foot, helped That's me. Nice. You know, oh, yeah, she's great. And uh, Aunt Mary, if you're listening, as always, you have a standing invitation to come to Miami anytime you want. You don't got to worry about where you're going to stay, what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink. I got you, girl. <laughs> so she has three daughters, you know, my three uh, cousins, uh, uh, Caroline, Teresa, and... Uh, Carla. And so Carla was off living with her boyfriend at the time. So I'm there with Teresa and Caroline. And I'm medicated. It's boring. I've been there for like two weeks. I've got, you know, good two <laughs> weeks worth of stubble Here going on my face. And I don't know what sparked it off, but one of them thought, was, hey, let's put Wesley in drag. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm stoned down. Like, Why not? Let's do it. Oh my god! So somewhere out there, there's a picture of the ugliest woman in Illinois. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the bearded lady. I mean, total freak show. I, I mean, makeup, sun hat, summer dress, and you know, a thigh high cast. Wow. Yes, I was one sexy bitch. <laughs> I'll tell you for not. <laughs> did uh, they, did they take you out? I wouldn't, of I wouldn't have done me. I wouldn't have done me, and I don't think there's any amount of alcohol in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd, you'd have to be, I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I went down to the docks here, I could have made some money, but uh, yeah, just, you know, I, I think back on it now and it, it, it's funny, but, you know, knowing that that, that picture is out there somewhere, it's out there. We got to find that picture and we should put it in Facebook. Oh. Yeah, Throw back Thursday. Oh. Throw back. What, are, what are friends for? Thank you. <laughs> you guys are so good to me. So, so good to me. All right. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to the George West Show here on 24-7 Miami.tv. I'm George West, joined by Shakespeare from uh, the Miami Vice City Rollers. 
Uh, I'd love to let you know that April 18th, 2015, that's not this Saturday. That's the following Saturday. Yes. Doors are going to open at 730 and the bout starts at 8 o'clock as Miami's Vice City Rollers welcome the Central Derby Demons of Daytona Beach to the Sunnyland Hockey Rink, 9300 Coral Reef Drive. That's uh, US 1 and Southwest 152nd Street. US 1 to Southwest 152nd Street, you head west, maybe 100 feet. That's it. <laughs> all right? That's it. That's all. You hang a left into the parking lot right there, and boom, you have arrived. You can't miss it. Big as life, twice as ugly. <laughs> now, as always... Miami's Vice City Rollers are always recruiting. Yes. They're always looking for alpha females or want to be alpha females. I mean, if you're like on the road to being an alpha female, they get you there. Uh, what you want to do is log on to MiamiRollerDerby.com and uh, just let them know what's going on. Somebody's going to get in contact with you, maybe Shakespeare or one of the other ladies from the team. Mm -hmm. Let you know when uh, they're coming out to uh, you know have a practice where you can at least come out and observe. Uh, do you need to know how to skate, Shakes? No, absolutely not. We will train you from the bottom up. So, you know, bring your skates and some commitment and you're good. If you don't, what if you don't have skates? What if you, uh, what if you just want to dip your, your toe in the water? You yeah, don't know if this your is your thing, but you at least want to try. Yes, we do have loaner gear available. So you could you could try it on, try it on some skates that we have and some gear and stuff. And we'll, we'll set you up nice. Okay. And if folks want to just come down and just like uh, strap on the gear and take pictures with the roller derby girls and like pretend they're tough, are you cool with that? <laughs> yeah, just email us and we'll, we'll take care of you. All right. Fantastic. And uh, what if, uh, you know, somebody who's out there is listening wants to get you because I noticed that that some yeah. of the the women from the team did a uh, uh, a thing at Macy's with benefit. Where yeah, that on was, a, that and was an event with Nan DJ Nancy Star. Okay, uh, where she had an event, and then and we we like to support our local communities. So of course, so know, we, we go well, out and do, do stuff. There was like that. the uh, the skate night, Bay night, Bay, Bay skate Bay Miami, skate. Bay skate Miami. Uh, we went out there and we you know passed out flyers and hung out together. Like we like to go out in groups. <laughs> it's good. You guys, it's a, you guys, it's will, a physical and a social. It, it's uh, something group. to see because I mean, after these bouts, we'll go up to uh, the you know Corbett Sports Bar. That's right, free plug for you, Corbett's. <laughs> uh, and the Vice City Rollers will roll in like 20, 30 deep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do rolling mean, like that. They, they they come in and it's like you know one percent or MC just you know just hit this bar, heads turn. Yeah, they're like those are really girls. Really oh no, trouble tonight. We're gonna have you know rock and roll karaoke and you know we kill it at rock karaoke. They too. do. Did you see uh, my wife Kathy last time? I did. She what? Uh, I think it was Total Eclipse of the Heart. I, 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 it, I must have missed it. It was amaze balls. <laughs> amaze balls. I'm waiting for you to get up on the mic. It's going to happen. Okay. Well, happen. This if, you is come a... to, if you come to Craig's party tonight, he asked me to bring the acoustic. So oh, things could be interesting. Very interesting. All right. We're getting ready to go to a break here. You're listening to The George West Show on 24-7 Miami.tv. I'm joined by Wilma Shakespeare from Miami's Vice City Rollers. We're going to find out more wackadoo crap going on here <laughs> in the Sunshine State. Back after this. Stay tuned. In platform double suede, yeah, there she was. Like this. If you don't listen to the George West Show, it might trigger an extinction-level event. Probably not. But why take a chance? And we're not recording! If you don't listen to the George West Show, it might trigger an extinction-level event. 
Probably not. But why take a chance? Okay. And now we are truly back. <laughs> and welcome back to the George West Show right here on 24-7 Miami.tv. I am the aforementioned George West. At least I hope so because I'm wearing his underwear. Uh, I'm here to tell that, you. That's the only reason why? What's that? That I am, I am he and he is I. Yeah. and Because of your Could be. Could be. Okay. I mean, it's just one of those... Uh, Existential questions: Who am I? <laughs> well, they said, you know, will I ever get an answer to that? You know, I'm. I don't know. Maybe. I just here? try. I just try to be the best. What I can. Whatever I am today. Whatever that is, I'll be the best. Ever that, that you I are the be. best, George. I'll stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Woman Shakespeare from Miami's Vice City Rollers, number sixteen, sixteen, and she wants you to know that you can come out and check out uh, Miami Roller Derby next week. That's April the eighteenth, twenty fifteen. Doors open at seven thirty, and the bout starts at eight o'clock. Why do you want to do this? Well, let me tell you. Okay, roller derby is one of those bucket list things. If you've never experienced it, you must. You simply must. All right, the energy and action that happens on the track. It's a really, really fast-paced sport that you once you watch it for about five minutes, and you know the confusion wanes, <laughs> the fog of oh my god goes away, and you can kind of follow the sport. It's uh, pretty easy to follow. You're just looking for the uh, young lady with the star on her helmet. Look at you. Yeah, that's called the jammer. <laughs> See, I'm learning. You still. are learning. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty easy to follow. And uh, the beauty is, if you can't make it down to the track, we're going to web stream the whole thing. And what we try to do is we've got Tommy Gunn Cole, who is, knows roller derby like the back of his hand. I try to put people with him who really don't know the sport mm -hmm. so that somebody who's new to it and may be a little intimidated about coming out to a bout, you can at least watch the live stream and learn about it through the eyes of the students of Connecticut School of Broadcasting. While they're learning to uh, do live sports announcing, we've got Tommy Gunn, who, again, you know, he, he's announcing. He, he's announcing. Mm -hmm. And as the students or the, the co-commentators ask questions, the you, the viewer, the listener, can learn about the sport through their eyes. And it, it doesn't take long. That's uh, pretty cool. I think the live stream is amazing. We actually have skaters from all over um, you know, who have either played with us or who watch us, and they tell us, hey, we're watching you online. You know, uh, Bella you know, watches us and with Fancy Feast, you know, she's up a few cities away. She's like, I watch you guys on online all the time. I, we, we, the uh, Rink Rash and the, the live stream have viewers from all over the world. Yeah. All over Amazing. the world. I think the, the only thing the George West show can claim is uh, Kentucky, <laughs> um, <laughs> Ohio, <laughs> maybe a little bit of Illinois. I did have some listeners out in California once. A lot of Florida. A lot of Florida. Uh, but I had a, an, a listener from India once, which I actually think was a Mossad agent because I was doing a show. It was on, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, it was uh, I had a uh, former, you know, m retired Marine. Um, Andre Brown was on and we were talking about the, the birth of ISIS and who they really are. And we are both of the opinion and we're not the only ones that ice. What you're seeing in ISIS is really the bath party out of Iraq. Uh, and we, you know, we laid out our case and everything. I mean, he, he spent a lot of time in the sandbox, you know, uh, you know, pointing guns at these guys. So he kind of knew what he was talking about. So all of a sudden, boom, this pop, this listener pops up in India of all places. So I'm thinking, yeah, it was the Mossad. They were checking me out. And I take it as the compliment they totally intended it to be. <laughs> hey, what? The is I'm not good enough for the Israeli Secret Service? Sure, certainly I am. <laughs> certainly I am. All right, but let's find it. You know, not only that, uh, it's, it's next week, uh, Saturday the 18th. Yes. Doors open at 730. Your Miami Vice City Rollers taking on the Central Derby Demons. But, Johnny, what's going on in sports this week? Right. I mean, the Marlins did not have a good week. Not a good opening day. Not a good opening next day. No. I was uh, I was on the opening game, and I got all wet. Uh, was, oh, yeah, that's uh, that was the big story, the biggest damn story in Miami this week that uh, – we have a retractable roof stadium right. that we, the taxpayers, <laughs> spent a squillion dollars on. I didn't use it. And, I mean, there's, you know, it, it's Miami. They see the Thunderheads rolling in, and there's some dude somewhere in that stadium that's got to flip a switch. You right. mean, dude, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> one job, man. And they had that, you know, opening day and a 15-minute rain delay for yep. a retractable roof stadium. On, only in Miami. Oh, only no. in Miami. So you're there, opening day, you get wet, and then what? Right. So they, they close the roof, then what? What happens? Yeah, no, it was taking forever, like 20 minutes, and the roof is going beep, 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 like slow, very slow. It wasn't that fast, so. It's a big-ass roof, Johnny. Mm, yeah, of course. But basically, they lost, the first game, they lost 2-1. to one. The second game, they lost 12-2. to two. And then they lost the third game, and they got whooped. 
I think but, the twelve to two. Yeah, they they, they got swept at home in yeah. their home opener. But it was the Braves. Yeah, and Braves consistently one of the best teams in baseball. Yeah, so they won the last time they won the World Series, nineteen ninety six. It's been a while. Yeah, that's right, you, Riley. You're mm. for Jaws. You're from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're very welcome for the and thank you for the the ass whooping that you handed <laughs> us. <laughs> no problem. Basically, the Marlins you're finally welcome. won yesterday. Oh, so who did they play yesterday? The Tampa Bay Rays, but it's oh. interleague. Interleague. Well, there you go. It's Tampa Bay. Mm, yeah. All right. So what else is going on? Uh, well, another baseball story, but I slept until one or. Two in the morning, but my mom's like, Johnny, come on, let's go to sleep. I just tell my mom, I don't want to be alone because I don't like to be alone. So the Boston Red Sox Creepy, beat but the, okay, go on. the Boston Red Sox beat the Yankees in the 19th inning. 19, so wow. Six to five, and I'm a Boston fan. So I, I know you are. Because I hate I, New I York. Not, I try not to hold that against you. I, I... <laughs> yeah, of course. Come on. I hate the Yankees, so I never like the Yankees. You never like the junkies? Never. I know the junkies <laughs> guys are more shy. What is it with you Latin guys that you can't pronounce the word or the letter Y? It's Yankees, not Jankies. It's Daddy Yankee, not Daddy Janky. Janky. <laughs> Janky. New York Janky. Lord, I tried. I tried. I did my portions. I did what I could. And also, right, so what what else is happening in the world of sports? Yeah, uh, I will say that he are eliminated already. I read something somewhere this week. Kevin Durant. Yeah. There, there is the potential. There is the possibility that Pete Rose may be in the Hall of Fame and get into the Hall of Fame. I think they will. I would love to see that happen. Yes, yeah. he screwed up. Yes, he bet on baseball. Hey, yes, anybody could do mistakes, but he will. Listen, if Ty Cobb, you know, racist Ty Cobb, is in the Hall of Fame, there's absolutely no reason that Charlie Hustle shouldn't be in there. The guy never took steroids. All, you know, he had a gambling problem. And he gambled on every, you know, it started off with horses and yeah, it developed into, but he bet on his team to win. Right. All right. So it's not like, you know, he was trying to throw a game or something right. underhanded. He believed in this team so much that he put money on it. Right. Let the man in the Hall of Fame. Let's get Pete Rose back into baseball. I'd love to see him back with the Reds. Maybe Barry Bonds. He'll make me love baseball again. Maybe Barry Bonds. What's going on with Barry Bonds? Well, they're planning him to be in the Hall of Fame, but he's another steroids guy as well. So Mark how, Maguire, Sammy Sosa. So it's be, they're willing to put him in there with an asterisk, but Pete Rose, they won't. Mm, I uh, guess so. Are you seeing some hypocrisy here? Are you, you know, something's not stirring the Kool Aid. I guess so. Right, how are the Panthers doing? <clears throat> they're eliminated, buddy. That's it. Today that's is the happen. last season of the one game left, and that's until next year. Or who are they playing tonight? The New Jersey Devils. Oh, done. Oh, yeah, they're done, of course. Yeah, the Devils are going to cook. Them. Well, they beat Boston on Tuesday here, but Boston is like, you know. Boston used to be a good team, not so much anymore. Same thing with their basketball team. Uh, you know, Celtics yeah. used to be, I mean, top of the line. Yeah, know? back in the days with Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Rick Carcel. Those guys are you, coaching. You, you were a baby when these people were playing. Hey, <laughs> How smart, do you even know? Smart man. I was born in 1988. May 23rd, 1988. May, that's why you got a birthday coming up. Oh yeah! I want to bring all the ladies. I want to bring all the ladies. Oh my God in heaven! All right, wait, and and then what, John? <laughs> I don't care if I buy all the Miami Vice City Wallers on my birthday. And because look, every time, every year when I do my birthday, uh -huh. I always have the belly dancer around me and shake my body and go crazy, crazy. I won't mind by all of these girls. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, First of all, back the truck up. <laughs> okay. All right. You're on a seven. I need you at about a four right now. Okay. okay. I know how to dance, so. All right. First of all, you understand that if you don't come correct with the proper respect for these ladies, they will lay you out. You understand that, right? <laughs> yeah, they will lay you out. Okay. They don't these are not belly dancer girls. You're not, nah. Okay. You don't find, the only pole you find these girls on are the one they're doing chin-ups on. <laughs> What is that? I like it. They're doing That's chin perfect. ups. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, well, they work out just like me. That I work out three hours in the gym. Okay. All right. We're getting off off topic here. Okay. So you've got a birthday coming up. You're having a uh, birthday party with a belly dancer? Yeah, maybe if a lot of people come because I always be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't have a girlfriend yet. So. Oh, you, well, okay. What can we do about that, Johnny? No, well, I don't know. Hey, I but, keep telling you, you need to find a girl at church. Nah. You know, Why not? That's what the, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know how those girls behave. They don't. They always behave. Yes, that's exactly my point. John. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, yeah. That's exactly what you need. No, that's, that's exactly. exactly. That's what you, you want to go out and find some little hood rat. 
<laughs> no, is, is don't say that. Some, ho- some hoochie you. mama, some chonga, some ratchet, some basic bitch. I mean, yeah. <laughs> maybe I could get the girl that I want. You're throwing them all down right I now. Did, I did, I did. My wife showed me but this look. video. It's like, what kind of bitch is you? But look, <laughs> there's, there's beautiful girls around the world. There's some bad girls around the world. Not everybody don't have the same. You know what I mean? Okay, I, I get that. Well, okay. So what kind of uh, this is this is taking an interesting turn here, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of what kind of lady are you looking for? Are you looking for Miss Wright or Miss Right Now? Or oh, I, I I got her number, but I haven't a card yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, so you've got a phone number. You yeah. got some digits as the uh, as the but kids. She, Do they still say that they get digits? Not really. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just number. Okay. But hey. Okay. So you got a, a young lady's number. Yeah. But you're gonna share a name with us, or are we gonna call her Babette? I will call on my own one of these days, my but baby. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. I get, I'm a grown man. You know I, mean? I get you, brother. You get you are. I believe in myself, bro. I know you do. But what I'm asking you about is, you know, why haven't you picked up and let your fingers do the walking and call and reached out to quotation fingers, Babette? Well, I got to date her first. So well, I you got to call her to make that happen, brother. You got to, you know, it starts with a phone call. Yeah, I know. So I could take it to honeymoon. Can we call her here on the show? I don't know. I think you want to plug your phone into the board. We'll call her up, and you ask her out on the air. Do it. <laughs> you know we can do it, Johnny. Put your money where your mouth is. I know, just like like on her show. Yeah. So what do you think? Do we'll it. call. We'll call her up, and I'll talk to her. All right, and I'll tell her <laughs> that she's on the radio and all this, that, and the other thing. And I've got a you know a very special young man here with a very special question for her. And I'll build you up. I'll build you up. You'll walk in there like Hasselhoff. <laughs> Uh, okay, I could try, but I'm her, her oh, mom. Is, her mom, is, her, her mom is kind of mean because they she will. Oh, I can't wait to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it better. I can't wait to. You, you're serious. This is interesting. We, we will do this if you want to. I'm not, not forcing you. This is your choice. Uh, I mean, I don't mind doing it. But Think about it. We got to take a break. Think about it. When we come back and we'll save it for the last segment. Okay. And if, if it's something that you're willing to do, I'll call this girl up on the air. I'll, I'll get past her mom. Not a problem. The gatekeeper. All right. <laughs> if, it, if it comes up to it, we'll have Shakes ask for her, so she'll think it's just some other girl calling, mm-hmm. and then you know, then Shakes can talk you up. Thanks for bringing me in this. <laughs> <one challenge. laughs> I, I like when people bear. give me advice, but she's she's a little bear bit, bit picky, like very mean. But I just that's one mom time, or the daughter. No, no, well, either well, either both. So the but, girls mean. Well, a little bit, but I just talk with. Well, he likes the picky. That's what happened. That's what happened. I she was having the public, and I was talking back to her. Okay, Whoa. that's how it all starts. All right, you listen to the George it. West Show. <laughs> we may be making a love connection here a little bit later. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Dr. Guest Show. His staff consists of a team of rocket scientists fired from NASA and a room full of untrained monkeys working around the clock to bring you the best show possible. Okay, we're back. It's the George West Show right here on 247Miami.tv. Now, when last you left, uh, Dolphin Boy was uh, he was talking about his birthday party and how he's going to have a, a belly dancer there. He invited the entire team of Miami's Vice City Rollers to join him for his birthday. But his big birthday wish was he wants to have a date. Which, okay, I can, I can get behind that. I can understand that. So I offered to let him call this girl... Uh, that he's uh, sweet on, on the air, and ask her out. We uh, talked to Shakes off the air. She made arrangements uh, so that uh, if uh, the young lady says yes, uh, they're going to get complimentary passes to next week's bout uh, so that they can attend in tandem, perhaps holding hands. And that uh, Dolphin Boy, who's been doing sports for me for about a year, uh, never had a steady girlfriend. I don't think he's ever had her date. This may be his very first date, and it's going to be happening around the world of roller derby. And, and, awesome. and what a great first date! That's awesome. What I mean, I'm just and I'm thinking about this, and your, your typical first date kind of things, what like the dinner in a movie, yes, maybe a few cocktails, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> if it goes well, if it goes well, <laughs> then you know, if you get you know, after the movie and you, you still want to spend time with this person, then yeah, you yeah. may you know slip into a bar and have a, a, yeah. a drink or two before you part for the night or not. If it's you know if it goes really well, yeah. I think I think I took uh, I think I took Plex to the roller derby game for our second date. For the second date, yeah. For the okay. Second date. But think about it. What an uh, amazing first it's date. It's a tester. Like it really it, is. It is, yeah. and it's not your. It's like going to a comedy club or something like that. You you take it. And I'm thinking from the the, the male perspective here because mm -hmm. you know That's what you last get. time I checked, yeah, I had the <laughs> the appropriate equipment. Stop pointing the camera at my appropriate equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that'll make Facebook. That's going to be great. All right, Johnny, did you call her? Yeah, but you don't need an answer. I just I really her a message. You left her a message. Enjoy it. So what did you say? No, that I really want to date her, that I really want to go out with her. And I just told On her. On the voicemail? Hey. Oh, you left a voicemail? Yeah. That? Did I hear that? Okay. Yeah, but then I asked her also that uh, if you don't go out with me, I'm going to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Johnny, no. This, this took a turn. This took sea. another turn. Johnny, there's plenty mm -hmm. of fish in the sea. Right? What is it? The uh, you know the Thin Lizzy song. You know, if that girl don't want to know, forget her. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't even know who Thin Lizzy is. I've dated myself. <laughs> Just trust me. If that girl don't want to know, forget her. Mm. All right. Anything else oh, going on Johnny, in the world Johnny, of sports, there, Johnny Cakes? Because when you had this big build up, we were all rooting for you. And who knows? I mean, she may return your call. We'd be on the air right here. Maybe she, she won't listen to the voicemail. No, well, let her listen to the voicemail. And, and maybe you time, sweet. You never know. I never listen to maybe she might call me. Voicemail. Maybe she might call me in the afternoon. Maybe she will. So, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Put a pin in it, Johnny. So, what is this? Ladies, you never listen to your voicemail? Never. Never. You just Ever. call back. I text back. <laughs> if it's a guy or if it's like, you know, if mom leaves a voicemail, you don't listen to the voicemail. No, I don't. I like, just call her. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, good to know, Johnny. The chances are if you blew it in the voicemail, she's probably not even going to listen to it anyway. Nope. So yeah. like, why is Johnny calling me? And then she gets curious, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. But, so uh, maybe she calls you back. You have just or the next here. time you call, she takes your call because she okay. doesn't know. It could be something important. Right. Yeah. Maybe you hit the lottery. And and basically, and basically, she's uh she's gonna become a nursing. So I know her job is not that easy. So but also, she's in school to become a nurse. Yeah. I see. Okay. Nurse. All right. <laughs> you need a nurse. You got to go to school first. <laughs> so, so, you know. But I don't know why some girls <laughs> want to be focused school at first. I'm the one of the guys that I always have for uh, time. Uh, right. I'm available. Like I'm available. I go out too many times, which is cool because I always have a good life. Then everybody well, you else. got two females right here. You should ask them. <clears throat> yeah, but they have their own away. boyfriend. I don't want to bother that. Well, that's no, no. I'm not saying well, ask them out. Right. Yes, right. Right. Yes, you're right. right. They both have boyfriends. You're, you're right. But you can ask them for the female perspective on dating and what you maybe could do better or, you know, how you might improve your, your what's a game? Do we still use games? Yeah, we can still use it. Right, maybe, you know, give you, you know, what you, you could do better and this, that, and the other thing. Now, first of all, you're a very sweet young man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, okay. So you got that in your favor. All right. You've got no horrific acne or scars on your face or anything like that. You know, you know, you're not the best look. You're no Brad Pitt, right? But you're no Danny DeVito either. No, I have no idea who they are. Okay, trust oh. me. <laughs> Every actor, yeah, but I, I would say that you're you're not a beautiful man, but at the same time, you're not hideous. Right. right. You're like most of us. You're somewhere in the middle. 
Right. I'm like okay. Michael Jordan. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you, and I don't know if the ladies will agree with me. It doesn't matter how you, when you're a man, it doesn't matter how you look. That's right. It doesn't matter how fat you are. If you've got a good personality and you can make someone laugh, she will be interested in yes, you. Yes, yeah. definitely. If you're funny and confident, yes. that goes a really long way. That goes a long, long, long way. Okay, yes, like Kevin Hart. Okay, there you go. All right, so uh, do you have anything, you know, that, like maybe the next time you ask this girl out, maybe can you ladies help him out as far as, you know, maybe a better way to approach it Less other is than. More. Less is more. Don't, just like the balloons. Don't tell her everything. Just tell mm, her yeah, just but enough. How, but how come I see people call? Not everybody the same. But pe some people call and they go almost every day. That's them, but not me. But you got to build up to that. Yeah. yeah you, you, you know, right now, we're, we're looking for just that first date. Thing. Yeah. The first and, time, it's just, you know, getting to know each other slowly right. and surely. And don't and, push it. And yeah. I, and I keep telling my mom. Good, if not, yeah. move on. I keep telling my mom. I feel that I, I feel I want to be engaged already. Cause oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't God. go in with that. You can't no, go in with no, that. No, no, no. no, no. no. That will scare no. any my, woman away. My niece is getting really at her age, 20s. She's turning 27. It doesn't matter. I'm turning 27 already. And? you're what? What timeline are you on? And Nobody ever said you have to be listen, married. You by can't go age. from you know, hey, I just called you on the phone to, to let's, you know, get engaged. let's get engaged. No, you can't do that. No, I'm 20. How do you even know if you, if you want this girl? Run! Yeah. <laughs> How do you even know if you want this girl to be exactly. your wife? Yeah, you, you don't know how to get to know about her. What if she? You might like her, but you don't know her. Yeah. What if what she's a cannibal? Exactly. What if she's like Arlene Werner? So she's a half prostitute, half serial killer. Or missing a toe. Well, she used to work with me. She never even thought of that. <laughs> basically she used to work with me at public but then she quick like like yeah, right away she's, and she's going on and she's going on and yeah and focusing on school on being i'm a nurse. type of person because i've been working for years and years and years which you're is a good. hard worker you're a good guy yeah, nobody i cannot be lazy that. i cannot be lazy nobody denies that you're a sweetheart Corey. No, but no girl like sometimes guys. when you know you no need to stay on the path guys. of the straight and narrow, you tend to go off on these little tangent thingies that you know frankly scare the shit out of people. You know, yeah, don't say engage. French. Don't say engage. You don't want the you, yeah, don't even. The word engage scares off before you girls. ever even think about being engaged with a woman. You at least need to be dating her exclusively for about a year. Yeah. Right. All right. And that's 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 some that's people get married for two years, right? Like engaged. Well, yeah. You know, I was married for ten months. Like, like, like my niece. Like my niece. An example. Take it from me. Don't do it like that. <laughs> that's the point. That's bad. That's not. That that is exactly what you don't want to do. I mean, if you're going to get married, it's supposed to be forever in a partnership and raising kids and all this, that, and the other. Thing. Whether Hunt. it's gay, straight, you know, the two monkeys and dogs, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to be two people there. Monkeys and dogs, really. And hard. moving on. Hey, you know. <laughs> I don't I've never seen that, but okay. I, I the only girlfriend that I have right now, <clears throat> somebody who always be nice to me, is my mom. Do I know? She's not okay. your girlfriend. She's your mom. mom. No, no, but I'm saying my don't, mom. Don't tell never, her that either. No, no, no. Never, never say that again. No, you never, don't understand. You never. don't understand. What I'm saying is my mom always be good to me. That's well, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, she's your mom. That. Okay, that's what I'm no saying. No way, in any way, affiliated, looks like, stands next to, uh, similar to a girlfriend. At all. Never. At all. Ever. Ever. She's your mom. No. She's supposed to be this nice to not, you. This is not flowers in the attic, homie. You, I, I get it. He's being no, honest. For example, I got her flowers. Her mom and mom's sweet. I got her this. flowers for Mother's Day. Her, of her course you do. That, it's two different things, John. The I love know. for your mother, the love for your sister, the love for your nieces, yeah, all that, it. and the love for a woman that you're not related to. Right. It's completely different. I think different. you know what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> I know that, but what I'm saying what I'm saying is, for example, she always take me to WrestleMania and it costs a thousand dollars. Yeah. Do I pay bills? Right. I don't know how to pay bills. When is the last time that I pay bills? Never. My mom my mom is the one who only pay bills, not right. me. And I don't help my mom. Because I, I don't know I don't get that experience I, to pay bills. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's your what I'm saying. Awesome. So and don't expect your wife or your girlfriend to pay bills either. Well, I would You're make, supposed to be doing that. Well, I will make the girls pay bills, mommy, because I don't get the experience. No, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, okay. We just found, okay, all right, okay. ladies, I think we that just found our first thing. That might That's be a deal breaker. That might be a deal breaker. That's a big we mistake. We just found our first thing there. You got to right? own your own, Johnny boy. Yeah. No. I don't know how to drive, and I could tell the girl to drive. No, you got to learn how to drive. I can't, because I use a special transportation, or, or like probably for my rest of my life. Okay, so what if, uh, and again, you know, uh, not that you, you, know, you couldn't date a non-special needs girl, but why not finding a nice girl with special needs uh, like yourself? Yeah, but it's not easy, buddy. It's not, it's not easy. You're gonna tell me on on you're you're on a transport. It's a it's a van, right? There's more than one person in there. Yeah. And on occasion, there's not an, an attractive special needs girl or a sweet special needs girl that uh, maybe. No, you know what? They, they always pick up 
a lady's like 86 years old and i'm the youngest boy they don't pick uh, like they pick less that than me mickey and maude I'm <laughs> kidding, dude. I'm kidding. I know. I'm kidding, man. You, okay. you really don't need to be dating a, an octogenarian. I, yeah. I, 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 if you're going to start dating, don't start with an 80 year old woman. No, no I know okay. that. That's what Try I'm saying. to find somebody similar to your age. Yeah, but and where I live, there's again. Be... What about church? Nah, I go to pray. That's all. Okay. Obviously, and, and that's well, very nice that you don't then go to pray church to God to, pick up to bring your girl. There you go. <laughs> I go to every church on Saturday, but I don't know where my time will come for my broadcasting, and I don't know where my time will come for for a girlfriend. See, I'm missing those two things. Well, I'm, you're broadcasting right now. No, but I'm saying thing. like for my future life, and I could give up to here. Well, we talked about that earlier in the show, isn't uh, you're going to start producing your own? Yeah, half an hour my mom is like, I don't know how to say that in English, and I, I want you, one of you goes to. Uh, I know. How do you say pereza in Spanish? Lazy. Yeah, my mom is like, ah, oh. like she thinks she wants. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not about you right your there. mom. It's about right? you. You, my young man, are a bucket full. It's not that your mom's lazy. She's no, no. tired. No, no. She's tired from dealing with you. I think she's no, saying no. that he's. Lazy. Or no, she right. says that you're lazy. That she, that she, 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 she I ask her every time what she don't like about when my time will come, and she's like. Oh, when Eddie was here, when I practiced right. uh, with the camera, right. and she like um, that I was supposed to work with Eddie, and it didn't work out, and then he left. Now I'm with you right now. Then my mom's like, oh, it's, why is it taking forever? So Johnny could get up to here, so he could get his job right away. You know what I mean? That's why. Well, as I've explained to you, it doesn't work like that. You don't you have to come right out of school with the limited experience that you have. Johnny, I didn't pop out of mama's womb and become the the awesome radio guy, video guy that you see here. Uh, it, it took years to develop these skills and talents. And it wasn't something that I just started in school. Back when, when I was a kid and, and picked up the guitar, right. I learned how to run mixing boards and how to do sound and all that. And I always knew that that was something that I enjoyed and wanted to do. And once I got old enough to figure it out, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I can actually make a career out of this. Well, then it was just I was just getting started because I had so much more to learn. I mean, you had a total dilettante at that point. And then you learn, you gain experience, and eventually you get there. It will not happen overnight. Life like is dating. a destiny. A, a back when I, had, a back destiny. when I was in high school, they didn't let me play sport. My mom and me wasn't happy because they think I'm gonna get hurt or broken back, broken body. But I used to be in the Special Olympics. I used to play soccer in the park, and look, that was good. But I wasn't famous. I so won trophies. I guess the main thing is, as far as your career, be patient. And as far as, uh, you know, the ladies go, well, first of all, I don't see you putting yourself out there at all. But, hey, put a pin in it. This is George West Show, 247Miami.tv. Yeah. Stick and stay. Uh. All this stuff you heard about America not wanting to fight, on the day out of the war, there's a lot of talk about. Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love to stay in the battle. This is a selection freeze, now this is a future free. In the midst of all this on the wall, let you run the zoo. That's the list of what I see, why no one's seen the freedom free. Baby, baby, rocks away. Don't you come to see back. Well, let's get back. And hear what George has to say. Quite a lot, actually. And thank you. Hey, Jaws, come on in. I guess uh, <laughs> Shakes was able to chase you down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got uh, Jaws here from Miami's Vice City Rollers. Shakes will be joining us back in a second. Now, uh, 
the love connection that we tried to hook up with Johnny just it, it didn't work out. The lady oh, did, she didn't man. want to take his call. But hey, you know the offer's on the table, man. The offer's on the table. At least you went through with it, man. Right. No, you you made an attempt. That's you what's called important. it. But it takes time. It Jaws, time. don't be scared of that microphone. You can get right up on it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, then shakes his back. All right. So, uh, before we go any further, let me turn the microphone over to the lovely ladies of the Vice City Rollers, and they can tell you all about this new bout that's coming up. Feel free to use my mic, shakes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've got coming up next Saturday, April eighteenth. We have a, uh, the last home game of the season against Central Florida Derby Demons. And uh, it's uh, we're currently undefeated, so we're kind of excited about this game. Undefeated in the season. We are currently 0-3 with Central, though. Yeah, so we really want this win, too. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're going to kill it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working are. hard. What, and, is, what is your uh, in total record? 23-0? You girls are 23-0? No, 3 we're three and zero. Oh. Three and zero oh, okay. this Not season. Bad. Yeah. Not bad. For this you guys, season. Yeah. We're undefeated are, this season. You girls are gonna make it four and zero. Oh, trust me. Th yeah. That's what we're going for. And uh, but not only that, we also have you know food trucks that come out to our bouts. We have raffles. Uh, we often partner up with a brewing company. They bring out free beer. You know, we so have whole uh, live mu live music by DJ Nancy Star. Yes, and we're also actually having a band for the halftime show called Del Paxton. They're gonna do a live a live set. Uh, for us this time, so it should be it should be a very great bout yeah. production. We're going hard for the last home bout. Ten bucks, you know, it pre uh, pre sale tickets in advance at MiamiRollerDerby dot com or twelve dollars at the door. Kids ten and under are free, so it's a whole family event. It's for mom, dad, brother, sister, little kids, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like we want everybody to come out and have a good time, and you know what better way to do something a little different on a Saturday night? Yeah, I agree. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Come check it out. And uh, yeah, we're always recruiting, always looking for skaters. We've got uh, a women's team. We've got a juniors team for uh, boys and girls, seven to 17 years old. Uh, and and yeah, so come out, skate with us, watch us play, get a little taste of the derby. You'll, you don't you'll need be to know how more. to skate. So if, right. if you don't know how to skate, it's totally fine. They'll teach you all you need to know in fresh meat. So. And you get to meet a lot of cool chicks. Yeah, Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I do appreciate it. No, they're not kidding. It's, it's an awesome time. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've told this story before, but you know, it's always warrant uh, another round. Uh, I was what about a year ago? I think it was when I was very first starting the show, and I wanted to do a show on what the modern face of feminism looks like. What is what does mm -hmm. feminism look like in the new millennium? Uh, mm -hmm. And the, the guest that I had book flaked, so I'm I'm you know, understandably upset. So I go to Chacon, who owns the uh, the website and the radio oh, station here, and it was like, dude, uh, you know, I can't believe this. I got no guest. How am I, how am I you know, Mr. Macho, <laughs> going to do a show on feminism you know, by myself <laughs> without that's gonna, a woman, without a female there? That's <laughs> that's that's going to so hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Like, yeah, you totally care about feminism. I do. I, well, I do. Yeah. I have three daughters, and uh, the the minute the first one was born, I became a dyed in the wool feminist. Uh, you know, th that's another story there, Jaws, as far as, you know, my daughters will shatter glass ceilings. Uh, they will take no prisoners. They're going to be, you know, ass kickers. Well, well, you, Grace is already starting that with the roller derby. She's yeah, Grace is with our kicking, junior. Grace, she's, uh, correct. She's, she's sitting out there right now. It's supposed to be, you know, bring your kid to work day, but she didn't want to come on air. Uh, she didn't want to do anything on the radio station. She, you know, I don't want to be on the red red. No, daddy, no. She's so, like, I'll just watch TV. No, yeah, she's just watching her Minecraft stuff. You know, she's she's into it. But uh, I, I got a serious question for you, ladies. What do you do when you can't get all of the marijuana out of out of your VJJ? Oh no! <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Never heard of it. Yeah, it gives a whole new meaning to. Why don't you ganja. tell us, George, what we what we you should know, do? Whole new meaning to techniques? the word ganja bush. <laughs> That's oh. what may have crossed the mind of a 27-year-old woman in Port St. Lucie uh, last week. Uh, she was driving a Ford Focus, and uh, or, well, she's in the passenger side of a Ford Focus, and her boyfriend gets pulled over by a detective uh, because they were spotted traveling, uh, swerving out of the uh, far left lane on the interstate. So, cop pulls him over and, you know, do the old uh, roadside thing. Now, they were Caucasian, of course, so they weren't shot. Uh, oh. What? Well, I saw the video. Yeah, There's no true. denying it. It's true. No denying it. Every, every other week, yeah. I'm seeing some video of some cop beating up somebody yes. who doesn't need beating up, cussing out somebody who doesn't no, need cussing out, taser out tasering people. Let it go, Francis. Lighten up. Anyway, so but the cop smelled pot. You know, it's Florida. Oh. It happens. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's everywhere. It's here. everywhere. Uh, so, you know, 
the driver, uh, you know, he, he, his name is John Chapman. He's 28 years old. Uh, he immediately cops to it. So uh, he gives he hands over a pot pipe and a bunch of roaches that were in his tackle box and a couple of marijuana bags that were in his girlfriend, uh, Raisha. In. In, in her. In. A female detective was called out to the scene, and King was able to pluck three bags of ganja from her vajayjay. <laughs> So he volunteered this? Yes. He said, hey, go look at my girlfriend for my yeah, week. Yeah, go, go, turn her upside down there and shut it flashlight. <laughs> I lost I lost some car keys about a year ago. See if those were <laughs> Oh, mean, that what, relationship is done. You know, what, it makes me, you know, think, you know, well, let's just get through the story here. Yeah. Then, then we'll tell the jokes, <laughs> right? Uh, so King was stated that she believes she still has one baggie all up in her business and that was unable to be removed. So she got three out, yet there's one stuck in there. So it looks, you know, but, you know, I don't know how they sell, you know, weed these days, but, uh, you know, it's uh, back in the day, was, you know, you'd buy a quarter. So it looks like she had a full ounce up in her. I, I don't know. You know. Maybe it was dime bags. Do they still sell dime bags? Does that even happen anymore? <laughs> All right. So there is, uh, there is no methodology for pot extraction from the JJ. I mean, that's not covered in the New England Journal yeah, of Medicine. It's not a tampon. Yeah, you, no, there's there's no little string to just yank no it out string. with. There's no way to pull it out. You just gotta reach. Up you gotta reach in up there it. and just kind of scoop it out. I mean, can you imagine putting that inside your JJ? Like, I, I don't just, have one, so no. I mean, I can't. No, <laughs> I would just hurt. Okay, yeah. and it, this is the most painful Before part I of the story. Like I know. This is the most painful part of the story, at least for me. But it totally makes sense. Both King and Chapman are from Kentucky. They were arrested <laughs> That's on. Why it makes sense. I'm from Kentucky, too. I may be very well be related to these Kentucky. people. Kentucky, Kentucky fried chicken. Uh, they were arrested on misdemeanor possession of marijuana, while Chapman was also arrested on uh, possession of drug paraphernalia. So let that be a lesson to you, ladies. All right? No more than a half ounce up your, up your cooch <laughs> at any given time. Okay? Anything more than that, you may not get it back out, and that's just wasting dope. So, so at least it was a misdemeanor. Well, Yeah. You know, she wasn't hurting anybody except yourself. I mean, in, in this in this uh, you know environment that we lived in, I mean, who are we to judge what people pleasure themselves with? Oh my god! Uh, and if a woman can only get off by, that wouldn't be pleasurable. <laughs> well, again, that's out. what you think. You know, I don't think like having wax dripped all over me, hot wax, it doesn't sound like a good time. Yet there are people who just can't get enough of that. I uh, <laughs> 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 hey, to each his own. To each his own, I won't judge. Ah, you know. <laughs> you know. I'm pretty vanilla when in that department, you know. Oh, George, you don't worry about that. No, I'm, I'm totally vanilla. <laughs> so that doesn't need to be said. <laughs> okay. You know, it, it is what it is. I mean, that's why I see these things and like, well, damn, that's interesting. Like, that's strange anyway. How the hell did you get there? I was like, you know what I want to do? Now, now, listen, honey. What I'm going to do oh my God, is I'm going go. to go up on the roof. Back. All right. And I want you to run around the house three times until you're good and sweaty. Okay? No, no, no. Let's reverse it. You go up on the roof. I'll run around the house three times until I'm good and sweaty. Then I'm going to shave my head, and I want you to jump off and land on my head so my entire head is inside of you. Ouch. And what happened, and what happened if you get hurt? I, I, him I, get hurt. Him get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, hold on. The wrong person we, we've got, a, we got a, a, another story here about another winner before we got to bring the show to a close. But you guys, you're going to love this one. All right. So this is the let me get high one more time story. All right. So a Florida woman decided to get high after she was cuffed. Cops found her. She's busted. Cuffs are on. Uh, so the police who arrived at a drug trafficker's Tampa home temporarily left the 23 year old out of handcuffs so that she could sign a document. Instead, one Miss Kimberly Noel Cholera reached for a handful of the synthetic drug known as Molly. What is that's what ecstasy, right? Yeah, yeah, pure. Yeah. Right. And swallowed it, according to a plea arranged uh, uh, deal that was inked on uh, earlier this week. Uh, she said, "If I'm going back to prison, at least I'll at least get high before I go." If I'm going back to right. prison, so yeah, she's. Uh, they also undercovered uh, the. They discovered drugs, more uh, guns. All part of an FBI operational uh, task force with the uh, the Tampa police to take down the Latin King street gang. So uh, she claims that she was the only one doing any illegal activity there uh, after the cops arrived, claimed that everything's mine, 
Uh, she so she copped to the drug and gun charges, uh, which carry a five year prison term for each count. Ooh. Trouble, 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 trouble. So I'm thinking this lady's you know hardcore gang member. Oh lord, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's talking maybe about she taking one for the team. She could uh, you know maybe have some you know, some tips for the young lady who with the the, the <laughs> marijuana and the and the vajayj. More like tips for the boyfriend. I mean, that, not that's the kind out. of chick, you know, she she knows how to handle the drugs. I mean, if you've got to get an ounce up in there, she probably knows how. I mean, she was like, you know, she could be the one that's like, you know, you got to tie yarn around it, right? <laughs> so that you can pull it out like a tampon. I just don't understand why it was for individual bags. Yeah. Like. Why well, didn't you just put it in one big bag? Would that be more comfortable? <laughs> Instead of four little ones, can't we just get one big one? <laughs> it makes more sense. Okay. Listen, you know, I don't even begin to even a, uh, attempt to understand these kind of things. I just report on them. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then I make my stupid jokes. That's what I do. And that's what the George West Show can't is. Can't make it up. All right. So one last time before we wrap it up here and call it a day, I want to invite everybody out there who's listening to log on to MiamiRollerDerby.com. You know what? Break out your credit card, your PayPal. How are you going to do it? Buy yourself some tickets. Buy a friend a ticket uh, and experience that which is South Florida Roller Derby. We do it outdoors. Oh, yeah. We do it outdoors. Yeah, we do. Uh, and the sun goes down. You get those beautiful purple and orange Miami sunsets <laughs> out there on the rink. Uh, you know, a gaggle of alpha females, beautiful women. A gaggle? A gaggle. <laughs> what is a gaggle? Well, it's like I, I don't think it's a murder of bitches. No, it's a murder of crows. What is a gaggle? A gaggle? A gaggle, a gaggle. is like a, a bunch. Like a flock of geese. Oh, uh, okay. Right? A bunch. Okay. Like, like a lot. A, a team. A, my, a roller derby team. Okay. okay. And another gaggle. roller derby team <laughs> skating up to 30 miles an hour, slamming into each other, and then after becoming the best of friends. Yes. You're not seeing yep. that in any other sport, so and true. that's why it's so amazing, and you should absolutely uh, do everything that you can to make it out this next Saturday night, April 18th. To the Sunnyland Hockey Rink, 9300 Coral Reef Drive. That's Southwest 152nd Street and US 1. Gates open at 7.30. Bout starts promptly at 8. If you can't make it, just log on to 247miami.tv where we will be live streaming the entire event. Stay tuned after the George West Show. Coming up right after me, I've got Rink Rash Radio hosted by Wilma Shakespeare. She's got some amazing stuff on deck. Yes. You don't want to miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a fun, fun year. I do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you on the flip side.